Hey guys, what's going on? So I recently decided to upgrade my studio lighting and after seeing my friend Andy's setup, he's got a couple of Elgato key light airs. They're little eight inch LED light panels. It's quite a neat little setup. I was really impressed by it and I popped around to his flat the other day. Had a little play with them. I was quite quite impressed. You get the little stream deck with it, but you know, it's all extra money. So I started looking for my own setup and I was gonna go with Elgato. But the issues I was having, Elgato do two types of light that I noticed. The Elgato key lights, I think they're the original first ones, which are the bigger ones, they come with a desk clamp, and then Elgato do a key light air, which are the smaller ones that Andy's got, which are I think eight inch LED panels. The problem is, apart from there being low stock, the Elgato key light airs only come with a, a desk mount that sits with a base on your desk, and I just haven't got the space because I've got big Yamaha HS7 monitors. I haven't got the real estate on my desk to have space to fit them. So I was kind of torn between buying the Elgato key light airs if I can find them in stock. But then I'd have to buy the Elgato desk stands which are £50. So the total was going to come in at I think £220 roughly for the Elgato key light air lights. Another £50 for the desk clamps that I need to fit on my desk. So you're talking £270 for that option. The other option obviously is to get the Elgato key lights, the original ones, the larger ones. They come with a desk clamp already, but they're £190 per light, which is £380 for a fucking pair of lights. Like, ridiculous. There's no fucking way that I'm spending nearly £400 on two, two LED light panels. Yeah, so I started looking around on Amazon for cheaper alternatives and I found a brand called um, Newer. Some people pronounce it Newer because it's N-E-W-E-R, but apparently it's pronounced Newer, but whatever. Right, so I found their latest model, which I think is a direct competitor to the Elgato key lights that cost nearly £400. They don't come with, a, with any kind of mount, however, for the price of them, I think they come in at about £86 each. I was able to get these these newer 288 LED light panels, which I'm shooting this video on now. I've got two of them just slightly off to each side. So I've got two of these light panels and I bought my own extending C-clamp desk stroke desk clamp stands um, for under 200 pound. So it's literally half price, right? it's insane. These come with remote controls, which I can control each one independently. You can see the difference that that makes. But yeah, I'm 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 really impressed with these. Um, they can come with you can get batteries for them. For me, they're going to be installed full time in my setup, so I don't see the point of having batteries. Maybe at a later date, I might get them. If I feel like I want to take them out somewhere. But the thing is, I just wanted something that was really tidy and permanently installed. The problem was with the ring light was it's on a tripod, so it's always taking up floor space. It doesn't fit in tight spaces where I'm working with my desk against a wall. I couldn't get it behind me to video. Um, I kept having to take it apart and balance it and prop it against the wall and it was driving me insane. So I just want to be able to knock out more videos and this is a perfect solution. These LED light panels are great. Nothing wrong with spending nearly 300 or nearly 400 pound on the two different models of Elgato key lights. Looks great if you incorporate it into the um, Stream Deck setup. However, you're talking about spending around four to 500 pound at that price point, which with the Stream Deck, and I just think that's just getting fucking stupid <laughs> to be fair. So I'm really happy with these. Won't go into crazy spec about them. They seem pretty well diffused. They've got a really wide range of warm to cool light. Far more than I'd ever need. Goes from almost quite a bluish white light down to looking like an Oompa Loompa, which is not really a good look. So yeah, I mean the brightness, I can't see anyone needing like 100% on these unless you've got them a long way away from what you're shooting. You know, like at the moment I've got the brightest one set to 63% and it's far, far, far bright enough for uh, most situations for this is, these are gonna be useful for Gamers who like to stream, you know, Twitch streamers, uh, vloggers. Not sure if it's any good for makeup things. I've not really looked into that kind of thing, funny enough. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely awesome lights for the price. Highly recommend that you go out and get some. I'm going to leave the link in the description. 
I'm going to leave the link in the description for where I got my lights, the, the model that I got of my lights and the desk clamps. See this is a problem for a lot of people, I think people are going to struggle with the cheaper Elgato Airs, I think they should be available as an option of having the base mounted desk mounts and also um, a C type clamp desk mount that bolts onto the back of your desk for when you haven't got that space. If you've got like speakers, a couple of monitors each side, you haven't really got the space if you've got a reasonable size set of speakers. Andy managed to get away with it because in the setup he uses it with, he's got quite small monitors so they fit on top of the base as well. With my Yamaha HS7s, there's no way that was going to work that way. Plus I've got them mounted on an acoustic base as well, so you know, like a foam pad. So it wasn't going to work with me. Anyway, I'm going to cut to switching one of the lights off now and just showing you the light in my hands. You get a slight idea of size for the light. So here we go. So it's kind of fairly big, um, but not too big. It's quite, it's quite slim as you can see, so it fits really neatly into your setup. On the back you've got a space in this area here for where the batteries will go. You've got a LED screen that lights up blue when it's on, it gives you your temperature, your warmth, what channel these are on. There's a mode and channel button there so you can set the remote controls to either group the lights together or have them individual. Power port, on off button. And then you just got your brightness and your temperature control. You don't really need it, anything more uh, fancy than that to be fair, do you? And that's it. And we're back. So yeah, I thought that might be uh, useful to some of you guys who don't necessarily want to spend almost £500 on a set of fucking lights just to make a video. Um, let's face it, we're all stuck in Covid at the moment and probably want to save money where it's possible without compromising on quality and I think these newer um, 288 LED light panels are pretty pretty good for the money. You're not going to want it any brighter. The colour temperature is fine. I think the light's pretty well diffused so that's great. To be honest I can't be bothered to go more into that. I mean by all means go knock yourself out and look at, look at the tech specs, uh, you know, count the LEDs on it and start looking at numbers for, for, you know, Kelvin warmth and all that crap. But to be fair, if you're anything like me, you just want to go out and buy something that fucking works and does the job. And these do. So, um, yeah, save myself, save myself a few quid and it's way easier for setting up to do a video now. I think these would be great for anyone that does game streaming, um, even webcam meetings vlogging, any of that stuff. Good good set of lights, so highly recommended. Hope you found it useful. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the video soon. Take it easy.